Hi guys, Raj here, back with another video. I am an enterprise solutions architect working at AWS. Shout out to Ranjit for recommending this topic. In this video, we are going to look into one of the New York City Global Summit 2019 announcement, CDK or Cloud Development Kit. In this video, we will look at the history of infrastructure of code in AWS, the nuances of cloud formation, and then we are gonna go over CDK and then show a demo. All right, let's get started. So this came out fresh a couple days ago in AWS Summit New York City 2019. Before you understand what is CDK, let's take a look back into AWS history of infrastructure as code. Infrastructure as code is a must have for DevOps as it helps you codify the infrastructure. AWS CloudFormation is the weapon of choice here. So for the folks who are new to the party, AWS CloudFormation is YAML or JSON text files where you can code, say, create a VPC, spin EC2 in it, create load balancer, etc. Then you can run that CloudFormation from a DevOps pipeline such as Jenkins or Code Pipeline. And it spins up the infrastructure because, you know, as fun and easy it is to do stuff in console, you need an automated and reliable way to repeat creating all this infrastructure. Sounds pretty good, yeah? But there are a couple nuances working with CloudFormation. With time and new services, JSON and EML file became larger. Also, it's kind of difficult to work with large JSON and YAML file. Specifically with YAML, it can be very difficult to detect a file truncated while transferring to another system or a missing line when copying and pasting from one template to another. Because at the end of the day, it's a text file, not a programming language. Also, there is no abstraction. Uh, basically, you have to write lines and lines of cloud formation with lower level details. So due to this, you will see in recent days, some of the tools such as HashiCorp Terraform are getting more popularity. Would not it be nice if you could use your favorite programming language to define your cloud infrastructure? Say hello to AWS Cloud Development Kit or AWS CDK, an extensible open source software development framework to model and provision your cloud infrastructure using familiar programming languages. So what are the main benefits of this? Well, first and foremost, the benefit of IDE integration. And it supports multiple programming languages. And with IDE, you can do syntax check, pair programming, auto completion, and of course, the most important thing, dark theme. Also, it introduces a higher level abstraction and it hides the details of what is happening underneath and expose a much simpler API. This is one of the main things that we do as developers, creating higher levels of abstractions to simplify code. For example, 500 lines of cloud formation can be done in 30 lines using CDK. Now let's take a look at how CDK works. Everything in the AWS CDK is a construct. You can think of constructs as cloud components that can represent architectures of any complexity. A single resource such as an S3 bucket or an SNS topic, a static website, or even a complex multi-stack application that spans multiple AWS accounts and regions. Constructs can include other constructs. You compose constructs together into stacks that you can deploy into an AWS environment and apps a collection of one or more stacks. Okay, enough theory. Let's get our hands dirty. Okay, so before I jump into the demo, I just wanted to show you guys uh, this really step-by-step -step awesome workshop that AWS has published. Uh, so as you can see, uh, AWS CDK is currently supported in JavaScript, TypeScript, Python, Java, and .NET. However, at this point, workshop is available in TypeScript and Python only. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll give the link to this workshop and an awesome blog post uh, in the description. Um, so th check this out. This is really uh, amazing resource. 
So I'm really uh, using this workshop to do the demo. I will also give the link to this AWS Git uh, where they have a bunch of examples uh, of AWS CDK. So I'm using two things for this. Uh, so one is uh, this documentation for the demo, and then I'm using uh, Cloud9 uh, IDE um, to uh, do this. All right, let's get on with it. Okay, I'm in Cloud9. Uh, I'm going to create a empty directory. I'm just going to copy the commands. I'm going to do the CDK init. So this, this command uh, actually created a bunch of standard code to help us get started. Uh, it also created a virtual environment. So virtual environment is basically a self-contained isolated environment uh, to run uh, and install arbitrary packages uh, without actually changing uh, your system Python. So since we created the virtual environment, uh, we are gonna go into it. There we go, and you can see .env, which uh, kind of says that, hey, I am in the virtual environment. Okay, I'm going to run this command, which is gonna install the libraries from the requirements.txt file. Okay, so if we open this folder, you see there's a bunch of stuff uh, already created. Let me close out this stuff. Okay, let's look at application.py. So this code loads and instantiates two instances of my stack class uh, from hello slash hello underscore stack dot py. If we go to uh, hello, hello underscore stack dot py, uh, this is where uh, most of the logic is. So you can see uh, it's creating uh, a SQS queue and a SNS topic. So uh, there is a website uh, for referencing uh, all these commands. I'm gonna give that in the link as well. Uh, so this is uh, th this is that website where you can go and check out the commands. Let's say DynamoDB. Uh, what are the attributes for that structure? Um, overview and then with with examples. So pretty pretty good documentation, uh, I have to say. Okay, going back to uh, Cloud9. Okay, so after uh, this topic creation and the queue creation, we subscribe the queue to receive any messages published uh, to the topic. When we did the init, it created this uh, sample application. So, you know, at the, and the, in the under the hood, uh, when you do CDK deploy, it actually uh, transform this program, this Python program into uh, a cloud formation. So how can you see the cloud formation? And since we have two stacks uh, in this one, we have to tell uh, which stack. So it's telling you hello CDK1 or hello CDK2. So if we do CDK synthesize hello CDK1. So as you can see, let me make this bigger. Uh, so this is the actual CloudFormation template uh, to create the um, SQS and the SNS. So as you guys can see, just a couple lines of code created this uh, huge CloudFormation. So how do you deploy this? Uh, you just do CDK deploy, deploy, Hello, CDK hyphen one. Uh, do you want to deploy to these changes? Yes. Okay, so uh, the stack is complete. Um, so I'm going to go to the console and look for the stack. So let's see. So I'm in the console in CloudFormation. So you can see this hello, CDK hyphen one. Uh, here you go, all this stuff is created. So if I go to SQS, I should see my queue. Here we go, this is the, this is the queue that's created. Uh, and SNS also created S3 and all that good stuff. Uh, before I end the demo, I uh, just wanted to reiterate, uh, I followed the steps in the workshop. Uh, link will be below in the description. All right, hopefully this video helps you understand the new AWS CDK feature. All right, guys, that is the video. If you like this video, please smash that like button and click subscribe. I will see you guys soon. Peace.